looks like Elon Musk is having a bit of buyer's remorse. Just to add some more stuff to the drama, Delano, Snoop Dogg came in here saying that maybe he should buy Twitter. <laughs> Elon Musk on Friday, he tweeted this. Deal was temporarily on hold, pending details supporting calculation that spam or fake accounts do indeed represent less than 5% of the users. Now on Monday, Twitter's current CEO Parag tweeted him back saying that they couldn't verify all the fake users. And Elon Musk, as you can see right there, Hit him with the poop emoji. <laughs> well, can you believe this, man? Now, now, just to add some more stuff to the drama, Delano, Snoop Dogg got involved. Snoop Dogg came in here saying that maybe he should buy Twitter. <laughs> and he'll put his people in charge. Uh, the, the corner fish fry or Tommy Chung <laughs> uh, on the board of directors. And Elon Musk hit him with the, uh, with the fire emoji. When Elon Musk made the offer to buy Twitter on April 14th, a little bit more than a month ago, for $54.20. Since then, the market has tanked. I mean, just take a look at the Twitter stock right now. The wow. stock is trading much lower than when he had made his offer. Mm. And to me, this is just Elon knowing that he overvalued Twitter. And I think he's mm. trying to find an excuse to get out of the deal. Now, remember, there is a $1 billion breakup fee that the, the, the both sides agree to. So if Elon does back out of the deal, he would have to pay a $1 billion breakup fee. But I think he's trying to find some legal loophole here saying that he thought that he was expecting, you know, so many users, but now he has a bunch of bots. I do think that, that although the terms or that although the deal is less likely to go through now, that I do think he's still trying to do it. I mm. think he sees the platform as valuable in some sense. Uh, he just doesn't see it at the valuation that he proposed to buy Twitter at, and he wants to lower that a little bit and then potentially buy, make some changes, and then sell it back to to the secondary market via the IPO. And, and that's what I think he's trying to do. But we'll see how this drama unfolds because it's quite, quite interesting. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you tomorrow.